up everyone, back again with Aeroglow gameplay, I'm Edry53 and today we're going to take a look at a couple of pinball games currently available for PC. Lately I've been mesmerized with the world of pinball. It is all started when I downloaded the legendary Space Cadet pinball from Windows XP. It is really the beginning for these amazing games we're going to review today. Today we're going to compare Pinball Arcade, Pinball FX, the Carrier Pinball, and Visual Pinball. We're going to talk about the pros and cons of every game, and we'll see which one is the best. We're gonna start with Pinball Arcade. We're gonna discuss about the pros first. And the pros on the Pinball Arcade, the first one is contains a couple of real brands pinball tables like Sega, Gottlieb's turn. This adds variety to the table we played in the game. Each different brand have different play style. Stern, the one that much more modern, offers much more interesting interactivity in the playfield. While Gottlieb offers modern and vintage pinball tables, more on that on the next point, Sega is a really nice addition to the whole game. Offers really nice tables such as Starship Troopers and Harley Davidson. The next pros on Pinball Arcade that the Pinball Arcade contains diverse years of pinball table. It contains the EM era, the SS era, and DMD era. EM stands for electromagnetic. It's usually found in 1940s to 1970s. And the SS era is where things get bumped up a bit. It's the solid state. Is usually found in 1970 to about 1989 and then it then comes the DMD era which is the dot matrix display era started in the 1990s to about 2010s EM era is pretty simple pretty straightforward compared to the much more advanced SS era where speeds start to kick in and better sound effects Playfield also seen much more changes with multi-floor layout and fun slides. DMD era is where it's on its peak. Better interface, much more interactive gameplay, all of this adds much diverse options to the table that you want to play with. The next pros, Pinball Arcade have a pretty straightforward UI. Pinball Arcade is an easy to play game. It doesn't have ins and bits that needs learning or option menu that overwhelm you with information. It just starts your game. Select tables and there you go. Simple and easy. Up next in Pinball Arcade, you get a chance to play one random table as one table of the month. That's right. Each month, you can play one free table that randomized. You're basically not stuck with one table at the first time you download it on Steam. But you get two, which is a pretty nice for a free to play game. Now we're moving forward to the cons. I've got a couple of cons in Pinball Arcade. Number one is that it, many of the pinball tables are removed after launch due to the licensing. So you might those know that Pinball Arcade actually contains a lot of a lot of tables before. It got much more than just Sega, Gottlieb, Stern, and Alvin Co. It got Bali, you got Williams, but unfortunately, Farsight Studio, who created the Pinball Arcade, has lost the licensing for Williams and Bali to the Pinball FX, and had to remove all of its Williams Bali pinball tables, probably forever. Left it with only Stern, Sega, Gottlieb, and Alvin G and Co. The second cons is graphics needs to be updated because it started to feel dated. This game came out in 2012, which is 11 years now, and the graphics certainly shows its age. It needs overhaul and rework some of the details on each table. Lighting is a big issue for Pinball Arcade. It still have no volumetric light system, and reflections are based off HDRI map. Just look at the Mustang on a Mustang table. It felt off just right away. Wheels that's supposed to be rubber is reflective just like the body and it feels low poly. And textures also need some revamp because some of them start to look low res, especially the floor on the background which is going to be constantly there every time you play. 
but improvements might have just been a fever dream, since Farsight Studios didn't show a lot sign of life anymore since 2015. The third cons is the UI menu and music felt not polished. If you just downloaded the game and tried to play some of the tables you didn't own, you'll be greeted by this error message. And when you press buy, you'll be instantly laying into Steam. But not just into a DLC browse list, but straight into card and purchase, which is, feels kind of desperate, honestly. And then the music on the menu. If you select a table you like, and then table menu pops up, it's going to start the music out of that pinball table you selected. But if you decided to go back and select another table, it's gonna left the team music of that pinball for forever in loop. My advice? Just avoid black hole and going nuts table from that. You'll be going nuts for sure. The next cons is clipping issues. These issues found on black hole table. Most of the time when you get the ball stuck under the flippers, the ball would just clip on top of the flippers. This is not a big deal though, and does no harm to the gameplay. But in this case, visual pinball can handle the issues much more better and much more realistic. So that is all for the pinball arcade pros and cons. Now it's time to move on to the pinball effects. The first pros on the pinball effects is that it's contained so many pinball tables to play with. From original creations to official licensed pinball table, pinball effects over many tables from your favorite movies to games to real Williams Bolly pinball machines. And more to come as DLCs. The second pros that Pinball FX starts with a pinball pass for new players. All tables will be playable for 17 hours. It's a really, really clever way to get a new player choose their favorite tables, test it, and then gonna buy it later after they got hooked with it. It's also a nice way to introduce new players to get used with the pinball without limiting their playtime. Every other pinball game should have come with this system. The next pros. The pinball effects have the best UI menu overall. Out of all pinball games, I must admit that pinball effects menu felt the most polished, nicest to look at, and navigate. Not confusing, and very look modern. Back with lovely background music as well. And each time you select tables, there's a short video of how the table plays and show you the interesting features of the table, which is very nice. Along with collectibles, you can collect each time you play it. But that's for another point. And having main menu hovering on your own decorated room feels very personal and proudly presenting your achievements. That is just very nice. The next pros that a pinball FX starts with three pinball table to play with. If your pinball pass has expired after 17 hours, you don't have to worry because you will own three pinball tables for free, which is nice for a start. Two original creations from Zen Studios and one from William Pinball. The next pros on pinball effects that it has amazing graphics and it supports race tracing. It really have a nice looking graphics compared to the pinball arcade. It has volumetric lighting, much better textures, and much more configurable in option menu. And it also supports ray tracing, which makes the lighting and reflection super nice. The next pros that Pinball FX have pretty accurate physics system. In terms of physics, Pinball FX pretty much nailed it. Every move felt natural, easy to play, hard to master, never found any clipping issues occurred in the game. We're still not done yet with the pros. The next one is the Collectibles are good addition. Now Collectibles is an interesting mini achievement system that allows you to get reward after your hard work at the playfield. You can display them on your tables room and showcase them in a the main menu. This is a nice addition for players, adding extra layers of goals than just reaching for high scores. Now we're gonna talk about the cons. The number one cons on the pinball effects that it does not include EM era pinball tables. This is not really a big drawback for me personally, 
but it would be cool if they do some unique effects on older pinball tables. Also, older pinball tables are much simpler. Would be nice to add that in a mix. Maybe the flipperless one as well. It's it's just a simple fun game. The next cons, visual effects sometimes disturb the flow of the gameplay. In Adam's family, for example, the hand at the beginning of the plunger kind of disturbed the flow of the gameplay for me. You have to wait a couple of seconds to let the hands do its animations, only then you can plunger the ball. It should have been not a problem, just let me plunge the ball without waiting the animation. Also, in Red and Ted Roadshow, the bulldozer kind of robbed the player's attention from the balls that are coming, and that is pretty annoying. In World Cup Soccer Table, if you're not familiar with the table, you might think that the dog mascot is holding one of the pinball you play with, but it's not, and trick your mind. In the Attack from Mars, the pop-up score display is a little bit too big and cover the ball you play with sometimes. Because the pop-up score is mostly millions in Attack from Mars, so the game just decided to upsize the pop-up score because every score above 250,000 it's gonna have a larger font. But you can turn these effects off if you want to, so that's a great option. Next cons, many of the Williams Bali Pinballs still not in the game. Before the Williams Bali Pinball moved to Pinball FX, they were available in Pinball Arcade. There was just a lot of them. Taxi, Gorger, Sorcerer, Bonsai Run, Judge Red, to name a few, which is really needed to be in Pinball FX. I'm the type of guy who loves simulation games, and this will be a big yes as addition to the game. The original creation is nice and fun, but if things based on a real thing, it's where it's gonna real. Kinda of feel bad for people who bought it on Pinball Arcade though. Did they get any refunds from the removed content? Please let me know down in the comment. Up next we're moving to Zakaria Pinball. The first pros on the Zakaria Pinball that it has a good customizations and personalization. Like background, tables and effects. In Zakaria Pinball you can personalize your surroundings and your table. Clearly never seen that on any other pinball games. And is a two thumbs up for me. You can set them in option menu and use the sliders to set the way you want it to look. Even though some of the decorations only changes textures, but it's a nice personalization nonetheless. The next pro is that it has a pretty sweet graphics. Reflections in Zakaria Pinball hits different. The light really shines bright, the ball cast shadows, the mirror effect just unbelievably good. Don't know how they achieve it, but the vibe that I'm getting is almost like American Truck Simulator graphic-ish. The effects on the table looks nice, the textures also looks high res, it's a pretty solid all around. The next pro is that it contains extra game for free. In the most right of the right in the menu, there is a video game cabinet for you to select. In there you could play side-scrolling type game. Don't have any idea if these are real based of Zakaria Pinball or just a Magic Pixel original creations, but it is a pretty nice addition to the game. Just wish that there is much more g other game type than just side-scrolling hill climb racing type game. Maybe add Space Invaders or Pac-Man to add diversity. The next pro is that the Zakaria Pinball offers many tables to play with. Zakaria Pinball contains many Zakaria brand, EM, and SS era pinball tables. There's also a Recreations available labeled as a remake, which is a DMD era. Deluxe is LCD era and Retro which is the EM era recreation of the original SS era Zakaria pinball tables. I know it's a little bit confusing but you will get it. There's also Postal Franchise Pinball and also these weird award tables which is original tables. Uh, whatever that is, you got many pinball tables in Zakaria pinball. The next pro is that it supports VR. For those who wants to enjoy the Zakaria Pinball experience in VR, you can get it right away as a DLC on Steam. And it came with a pack of pinball tables for a good deal. I personally haven't touched the VR mode just yet, but I'm glad to have the options to run it in VR when I wanted to. The next pro is that it has a cool walk around POV showcase. This is such a cool gimmick to showcase the pinball tables. 
just the way we see it in real life. You can inspect it and bits of each pinball tables and immerse yourself in the world of Zakario Pinball. Now we're gonna talk about the cons, that some voice acting could be better. It is a nice addition to have remake tables of the original Zakaria Pinball, but unfortunately the voiceover is a little bit boring and unenthusiastic, especially in Spooky Table. Come on Magic Pixel, you can do better than this. Super Jackpot! Woo! Jackpot. Double Jackpot! Triple Jackpot! Do not move! The next con is that the UI menu are too big. It's like for a touchscreen instead of a PC game. The first thing I noticed when I first time playing it is that the menu uses really unnecessarily large fonts and buttons as it is like for a touchscreen. Maybe for a cabinet touchscreens it makes sense but you could rotate the whole menu to the side. Even it has a big logo in there. So why don't make those has a big font? and a regular desktop mode with smaller fonts. This makes the whole thing look ridiculously oversized and confusing to read sometimes. The next con is that it only got one pinball table from the start. Sadly, Zakaria Pinball only provide you with one table for start. It's the time machine. Although you could play the others as trial, the mini screen just obnoxiously reminds you to bite now instead of trial. And the last cons of Zakaria Pinball that end of each game felt not satisfying. Each time you finish spending your precious 3 balls in the playfield, you'll be rewarded with extra seconds to spare. After that goes, the game just closes to summary of your gameplay. No animations, no sound effects, no congratulations, just another menu screen with oversized fonts. And it didn't even highlight your high score, because every number is the same size with the same font with a very tight spacing, so good luck reading your end scores. And the last, the visual pinball. Now we're gonna discuss about the pros of the visual pinball. The first pros, download any pinball tables you want for free. Visual pinball is an open source game, so it's up to the community to come up with something, anything literally. You want Godly? They got you. You want Stern? Which one you want? Williams Bali. We got tons. Data is title Brazil. Premiere. Yeah, we have them. Basically, almost anything you want is there for you to download. There's even a remake of the Space Cadet available in full 3D thanks to GP Salads. The next pros that almost all brands and tables imaginable are available to play. This is the only getaway for me to play Williams and Bali pinballs that missing in pinball effects. Also discover new pinball tables that aren't available in any other pinball games. The next pros that it has the best realistic sound effect. The sound effect in visual pinball, or should I call the VPX, is just top notch. From the ball rolling to flipper sounds, VPX is the most legit and really felt like the real thing. The next pros that the graphics looks most outstanding. Well, for a certain table, this is not gonna apply to every mod, but most of the recent mods, especially the one that made by Vipin Workshop, shout out to them, is just looks insanely good. It's crazy how real it looks. You can tell that if it's have a smooth or rough surfaces, side of the wall lit up realistically, reflections on the ball is outstanding, even the flippers can block the light of these small embossed stacks, which is insane. Really, I'm blown away by the quality. The next pros on Fizzle Pinball that it based on emulation. So it felt very authentic to the real pinball machines. Since Visual Pinball or VPX is an emulation of the real pinball, it uses ROM from real pinball as well to run. This gives you pros and cons though. As for the pros, it gives you the authentic pinball experience. It boot up when you first time run a pinball table, and you need to insert coins to add credits 
which is pressing 5 on the keyboard, and then you get credits to play. I know this is such a gimmick, but man this adds realism to the game. The good thing since you use credit each time you play, the match display on the end can actually give you credits to play, which is kinda cool. And the last pros on the visual pinball that the physics simulations felt very realistic. Not just the sound and graphics, but the physics also on par with the pinball effects. You could felt the flippers can be affected by the ball speed, ball bounce off the surfaces sometimes, and sometimes if you hit the ball with the tip of your flippers, you could feel that flippers lost its power. It felt very real. Now we're gonna talk about the cons on the VPX or the visual pinball. The first one that the installation is a complicated process. As the drawback of any open source game, it isn't just click and install everything handy dandy. No no no, you have to figure out which version you have to download, which version is compatible, why is this table not working, what is FlexDMD, how to install DirectP2s, how to play VPX with joystick, and the list goes on. You had to figure it all yourself via website, and sometimes you had to watch 30 minutes video on YouTube on how to get things running. The next cons that some tables can have trouble running. If in other pinball games you can just click which table you want to play in an instant, it's not that smooth sailing of a process in VBX though. Sometimes tables require complicated homework to run properly, sometimes it doesn't have the MV score screen, or the ball doesn't come in when you hit one. Or just puke coding that you don't even understand. The next cons that it's needed separated ROM for each table and confusing at times. As for the cons of using ROM, sometimes finding ROM for a table you want to play is a disaster. You could up end up spending 1 to 2 hours only to search where you can get those ROMs. And tables from Dota Ease usually requires multiple ROMs to play. The next con is that VPX does not have UI menu. There's no warm main menu that greet you in the visual printable. It's just an executable that runs program and then take you to a specific table you play. I'm Batman. I just wish that one day VPX can have a nice main menu like a BMNG and all the mods can be organized nicely. And for the last cons, that option menu needs to get some used to. To navigate option menu you have to use flipper buttons and magnet save buttons which is pretty confusing at first and if you want to change the camera you have to configure it yourself in this menu. There's no simple cozy buttons to change camera presets like in other pinball games. And also to change the volume, you have to do a different type of work on each different brand tables. Like Stern for example, you have to press the 9 and 8 to change the volume. And then on Williams, you have to press the N button and then press 8 or 9. So each tables have different way to volume up. Which is pretty confusing. And now it's time to compare graphics on each table. Unfortunately for Zakaria pinballs, there's only Zakaria pinball brand, so I can't really compare it to other three. But I could compare it to Visual Pinball. The robot from Zakaria. Alright guys, that's it for today. So what do you think? Which one is the best pinball game that currently available? Is it a pinball arcade or pinball attacks or the carrier pinball or maybe visual pinball? Let me know down in the comments below. I personally would pick Pinball Effects because it's easy to install, it's a complete game, but it is quite close to VPX because the VPX have 
like the best emulations overall. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next video.